Hey everyone, welcome to this week's conversation piece. We're picking up from last week's theme about simplifying, clarifying, <laughs> prioritizing. Remember yeah. those words, Miguela? Yes. Um, but <laughs> this week it's really like applying that all to your closet. And with us we've got Joe and Zoe from People Style Watch, two of our favorite people, officially known as Zojo. <laughs> <laughs> who hang with celebrities and now have their own celebrity moniker. Um, so with that, we're going to get started. So let's kick this off by talking closet organization and how it is that we actually kind of purge, declutter, you know, what are some of the things we think about? You both live in New York. Kick us off, because... <sighs> no space, no closet, yeah. <laughs> being creative. Yeah. <laughs> I always think about that Sex in the City episode where she's like, I will store all my sweaters in my oven, and that is actually, I think, a little bit true <laughs> in New York, like, right? Girl, yeah. I don't have sweaters in my oven, but I definitely have things in my kitchen that should not be in the kitchen. Yeah. But did you admit you don't have a closet at home? Um, yeah, I don't have a single closet in my apartment, so wow. I have to get really creative with how I store my clothing. And I have one small closet that I share with my boyfriend, so space is at a premium, and we're both closed horses, so yeah. I mean, definitely always looking for ways to kind of maximize the space, but it's, it's tough. I mean, I store things in suitcases. Every possible inch of real estate under my bed is taken up with boxes that have sweaters and gym clothes and shoes, so you just, you learn to get creative and you learn to kind of deal with it. And I think it makes you realize how important it is to stay organized. Like, if you have a messy closet and it's tiny and you're sharing it with someone, you'll never find anything in there. Exactly. I used to think that having those like really nice wooden coat hangers was like the thing that made my clothes look really great. Not anymore, because in the Bay Area, closet is also premium space. We have a year-round wardrobe. We're always filling it with everything. So I have the little skinny, mini, you know, hangers now, and it saves so much space. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. I do the same thing. Those <laughs> no, wooden hangers look so nice. Yes, but, but no, yeah, they're not they take up too much room. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, it's because, because between the hangers and then the space you're supposed to keep between your clothes, like that yeah. two or three inches you see in a yes. boutique, right. like no, never, right? Never this is the problem. Yeah. We're always all overflowing. So, I mean, so you guys have all separately hit on lack of space, need to sort of organize. What are some of the best tips for organizing your closet? I mean, I personally, I have a one-in, one-out rule. So, you know, if I go shopping, it means I've had to purge my closet beforehand. And, you know, it's about space. I don't have room for new sweaters if I don't get rid of old ones. But, you know, it's motivating, too. Like, you know, I don't keep things in my closet that I don't wear because then I can't get new things. Wow. What about you, Joe? What do you think are some tips for us? On well, sort of I think that there's some actually really interesting and cool digital uh, products out in the marketplace mm -hmm. that are app-based or website-based to kind of help you get your head around actually what you have. Because I think that's the one of the big problems too it's like what's that stat do you always say Zoe people use like they only use 30% of your closet because right. people don't really know the breadth of what they have right mm -hmm. so you know there's apps like stylitics and closet both of which are free and you can download them for your iPhone or your Android or whatever mm -hmm. and they really you know, there's a little bit of work involved you have to kind of have to go through your closet and upload all of your kind of wardrobe into it but once you get over that hump mm -hmm. you have a very clear and concise kind of picture of what you have in your closet and then you can start to figure out what do you need what do you want to get rid of? Mm -hmm. How can you really maximize that space and really mm -hmm. kind of take it to the next level? And can't you actually track when you've worn those items so you don't end up wearing the same totally. stuff like three days in a row? With closet, it actually tells you the last time you've worn it, how many times you've worn it. So you can actually you start to put like a value around those individual pieces of clothing. So for those of you who are like analytical minded, like <laughs> it's great that, to yeah. assign a value to it, right? Yeah, yeah that's great. What about for you, Michaela? Organizing tips for Organizing, your closet? well, I have to say, I used to be really obsessed with the container store because I I would just go there and like <laughs> spend hours obsessing over all of their amazing organizational little items. But in fact, we actually have a great uh, curation on Joyous of like hand-picked items to make your life super simple from like, you know, the sweater organizers and how to fold your sweaters. And I think my favorite are ones that have the lavender built into yeah, the cool. sweater folder. And so it keeps everything in your closet smelling really fresh and nice. I just love that. Yeah, we have a, I think we have a pretty good assortment, which we'll certainly show you um, on screen. Honey comb sort of to yeah, divide your underwear drawer too. I know yes. it's so true um, obviously Julia organization is a big sweet spot for us here at Joyous because we have so much of it yes. um, but I think you're right like products from Closette to really help you organize your sweaters I think is particularly apt for this time of year mm -hmm. um, so a pretty good selection of products um, to really get your closet into shape pretty quickly um, now how about the subject of purging like you said one in one, in, one out mm -hmm. but I'm like 
Okay, so how to purge, and I think the most, I think the most difficult thing for all of us on purging is really like you feel like there's so much value in your closet. This is my problem. I hang oh, on to everything because yeah. I'm like, this is too good to give away, which I know is a very selfish thought, but. Even if you're not yeah. wearing it a ton, you're like, I spend so much money, money on, on this. this. Like, I'm yeah. gonna keep it until I wear it. I'm gonna yeah. wear it again, yeah. right? Someday. So like, yeah. I mean, so what do we do when we have all of these amazing things that of course we wanna hang on to? Well, I think, you know, you need to get creative again with, like, there's a lot of really, really cool digital products out there that can actually help you with that mm -hmm. and that help with the consigning process, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not, you're not giving it away, mm -hmm. you're actually getting some value back. So think about like the thread flips and the mm -hmm. tradesies of the mm -hmm. world. In the real world, I know you guys have used yeah, real, real past, you really yeah, like yeah, it. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it really kind of depends on how you want to interact with the with the technology. If you want to do it yourself, if you want some kind of level of service, that will drive kind of the percentage that the partner will keep. Mm -hmm. um, but there are resources out there that can help you actually get some value out of those the, pieces that you know you're probably not wearing a lot but you feel kind of weird about getting rid of at the same time no yeah. I think yeah I, go ahead Zoe I was just gonna say I actually do it old school I go to actual in-person swaps so <laughs> twice a year a bunch of editors so in New York you. get together <laughs> no it's, you get really good stuff so it's editors go to this one editor's apartment we bring all this stuff that we haven't been wearing but it's really nice it's in good condition and we just trade it for other things I've gotten some really good I stuff love there that. From that yeah it's so fun it is fun I know everybody wants to go to that swap. Yeah. So the New York fashion editors, everybody That's wants to go to, to that swap, into. right? I think I could get you it. Yeah, I was going to say, I might take you up on that favor. Um, so we, we know that there are all these consigners out there. I agree with you, Joe. I think there are a bunch of resources. I think the, one of the most interesting things about them is they're almost different by the type of brands you have in your closet, sure. right? Like Threadflip, lots of contemporary. Yeah. Tradesy, Michaela, you use. What kind of products are on? I think Tradesy. it's a mix of both designer and like trading kind of contemporary pieces, too. Right. And then, and then and real real is sort of up there. They yes. want to do sort of couture, yes. like right. really, you know. Yeah, and I love with Fred Flip, you were telling me earlier, now celebrities are actually so uploading awesome. so their right? wardrobe and you can shop their wardrobe, which is so fun. Or just kind of like sneak peek and see what celebrities have in their closets. I think yeah. that's really just kind of a fun way to kind of interact with the app, you know. Yeah, I love that. That's but so you were, I think you guys are all right that probably the one of the major things that's changed in the last um, maybe two or three years, it used to be that eBay was your only option. Right. right. But I think now, like the real real with a certain number of items will come pick it up from your house. Threadflip, I think, has a white glove service, right? Yeah. Um, and so I think that there are a range of options for even how to get it out of your house, which is, I think, often the biggest half barrier. Problem. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. It's yeah. half the problem, yeah. right? Right, because you, know, you wind up with that pile of clothes in the laundry room or near the door that like you're going to be taking somewhere, but it I know, but you never, do, you never right? do, right? Especially when the consignment shop around the corner is only open like 9 to 5 and you're still at work. Right. So they have the worst hours. I hate <laughs> that. They all do. We need the all-night consignment yeah. shop. I guess that's called one of these online yeah. sites. Exactly. All right. Well, I mean, I think you guys have given us some great tips on sort of how to purge, how to organize. I love the one in, one out rule. Um, I was telling these guys recently, I just put my son through the 10 out, one in rule, which is something I can't myself even honor. Um, when he it's asked tough. for new toys post Christmas, I was like, go into your room and pull out 10 that you don't use. And he did it. I love that. Um, I know, so That's 10 great. in, one out, which is a little hard for my yeah. closet. Yeah. I don't think I could do it. <laughs> um, but one in, one out kind of great advice, as well as, as Michaela pointed out, some of the great products on our site that really are designed to help you have that sort of dream looking closet where you can actually see all your stuff. And actually, once you have your closet totally organized, we have this really fun feature on people.com called Your Turn, and we do different challenges every mm -hmm. week. And the one we did last week was actually show us your closet. So fun. some of the photos showed very organized closets. Some of them were not <laughs> quite so organized, but it's actually a great way to find motivation and to get ideas. I really liked well, it. Well, after you do all that work, you want to share it, right? You want yeah, people yeah, to know it, it right? And of course, besides sharing it on people.com, if you share with us here on Joyous, we'll be happy to give one lucky user a giveaway of our own. It's selected favorite products from Joyous for organizing. Um, and with that, we'll leave you with a look at what's coming up this week on Joyous.